We hope you're enjoying your visit here this evening. Now, on with the show. Hi guys, and welcome to another quick Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to take this kind of drab and bland looking drive-in movie theater classic car shot and we're going to turn it into something a little more dynamic, a little warmer, give us that kind of summer drive-in old time feel, like this. So this is a fairly easy tutorial, only a few tools, very basic tools. Let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is, unfortunately, as lovely as I'm sure this lady is over here, we need to get rid of it. So over in your toolbars, you're going to go to your crop tool. Now it won't be in your regular toolbar, it'll be along the bottom in this little section. So if you hold down control and left click, it'll bring up these sub tools and you just want to choose your crop tool, which I've already got chosen, but if you don't, just click it and now you have your cropping tool. Now there's not a lot of room between like her elbow and the bumper of this car, so it's going to be fairly precise. So we're just gonna bring it over and hit enter or return, and now you've got your shot with the little old lady cropped up. I'm gonna bring this bottom up just a little bit as well, and hit enter. So looking at this shot right now, it doesn't really feel like summertime, it doesn't really feel like it's warm, it doesn't really feel like the sun's coming down, mostly because I took this shot about four o'clock in the afternoon in the middle of September. But if you can't take the shot, fake the shot. And that's what we're going to do. So before we go any further, let's do one thing, and that is duplicate this layer. So hold down Command on your keyboard and hit J. And now we've just made a duplicate of this layer. So let's go up to Layer, and then we're going to go down to New Adjustment Layer, and we're going to go over to Photo Filter, and click OK. Photo Filter will show up, and over here on your far right, you'll see this little menu with all these different kind of filters. There are a few different warming filters. Uh, there's intensity, so you can, or density rather, so you can change the, you know, how intense or how not intense. Well, that's a little too much. And we want to make this feel warm, so we are going to kind of bring it up a little bit. Now, you don't have to use this warming filter. You could maybe decide to use the deep yellow instead. And again, you just want to set your, your slider to wherever you feel it needs to be. So I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to make it too, too warm. So I think I'm going to put it at just about 50%. Now, we're going to bring some of these colors out as well. I want to bring some of the reds and the greens and things like that forward. So before we do that, the one thing we have to make absolutely sure is that we are using the right layer to make these adjustments. Because if you try to do it now by going over to Image and Adjustments, we won't be able to access some of these tools. And that's because the wrong layer is highlighted. So you have to click Layer one. Once you click it, it'll show up as light gray, and that's how you know that's the active layer. Now we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Vibrance. There are other more sophisticated ways to do this. If you've been following these tutorials, you know that I kind of go the easy way. So bring your vibrance up just a little bit. Again, wherever you just feel is, is comfortable. You can crank it all the way up to 100 if you want. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. About 95. And you can do your saturation as well if you want. That'll also bring these colors forward. They'll really, really, you know, get bold. But you have to be careful with saturation because uh, even though this is kind of going to be a stylized image, you don't want it over stylized. So my saturation, I think I'm only going to bring it up about 10%. Again, your shot, your image, you can do whatever you like. Once you're happy, click OK. Now, the fun part. We're going to put the sunset, and we're going to have it so that the sunset is kind of peeking through between the top of the car and the edge of the movie screen. So, you want to activate your brush tool so you can go over here and click the brush tool, or you could hit B on your keyboard, and that shortcut will bring your brush tool up as well. Then we're going to go down to our color palette. So down here, you've got black and white or whatever colors are here. It doesn't matter if you've got black and white or not, because we're going to get it into the right color palette anyways. So double click, and then you want to be in the orange tones, which we already are, because I've done this a few times already. And if you want this exact color, you don't have to use this exact color, but if this is the color that you want, the color code right down here in the bottom is F as in Frank 98407. 
and then click OK. Make sure you have a soft brush and then make sure that your brush is fairly large and you can do that by going up here and changing the size of your brush or you can just simply use your bracket keys on your keyboard. So your left bracket will make your brush smaller and your right bracket will make your brush bigger. So make it bigger. Before we add this brush though, we have to do something else. Because if we add a brush right here, right now, I just put this brush onto this layer. And I don't want that because I want to be able to move it around. So Command Z if you did that. Command Z to undo your last action. And we're going to add a layer by going down to Create New Layer, this little icon that looks like a folded piece of paper. And then we go in and we can add our brush. It looks different, but that's okay. We're going to make some other adjustments to this as well. So let's go back over to our color palette, click it, and then we're going to bring our color palette over about halfway to a lighter shade of that same orange. And if that's the color you want, it is FAB872 and click OK. Then we're going to go back to our brush and now we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Left bracket, center it, roughly center and click. And then we're going to do that one more time. So we click over here and then we go all the way over almost to white and this color will be FAE9D8 and click OK. Then we go back to our center, make it a little smaller still and there you go. So this is on its own layer, and let's label that Sun. Now we're gonna put this into place. So we're gonna to go to our Move tool, which is the very top four point arrow, and we're going to bring our sunshine right there. And then we're going to change the blending mode. So go over here where it says Normal, above all your layers, and click that, and we're going to go down to Screen. And now it just looks like a light source. Now it's a bit centralized, it's a bit intense right there, so we're gonna make it bigger. So we're gonna use our Transform tool. So hold down Command, on your keyboard and press T. And then while holding shift so that you don't lose the dimensions, hold shift and then grab one of these corners and then just drag it out to the size that you want. When you're happy, just let everything go, hit enter and return, and then you can just reposition it as you want to. And there's your sunshine. The other thing is, if you're taking a photograph and you're shooting directly into the sun, you're going to get little orbs of light, refracted light. You can see a little bit right here. But we're going to add that as an additional effect. But before we can do that, once again, we have to make sure that we are on the correct layer. So make sure layer one is selected, then go up to filter, go all the way down to render, and down here you'll see lens flare. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but right here, this little X. So I'm just going to position it so it's just on the edge of this tail light. And again, you can move this around. And we can change the brightness so you can make it super bright, depending on how bright you want it. So the default I think is about 75, 77. I'm going to put mine at 95. Now there are other lens types as well. There's the 35 millimeter prime, the 105 millimeter prime, and the movie prime. I like the 50 to 300 and click OK. And now we have our point of impact right here, all of the refracted light, and we're almost done. We've got one last thing to do. Making sure that this layer is still active, we're going to add a vignette. And a vignette is kind of that dark, hazy ring that goes around the edges of the image. And it just makes makes it feel a little deeper and richer. So we're going to go up to filter and then we're going to go to lens correction and then we're going to go over to custom and a little more than halfway down we see vignette. And all you do is slide that down toward the darkened end of things. And again, you can decide how dark. You might not want to go all the way down. That's a bit dark. Uh, maybe minus 80 and click OK. So here's our final shot. Now as you can see, it's very warm, it's very rich, it feels like it's summertime. Let's compare it to our original. So that's it. With just a few simple tools and a few little tricks, we've turned a very boring, flat, bland image into something much more warm and inviting and having more of a feel for those days gone by in the old cars at the drive-in. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.